Hello, and welcome to one of our vlogs from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton, Georgia. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody on face, from Facebook and YouTube joining us today and appreciate some of the comments we've been getting from those folks and uh, uh, consider you very much a part of our group. Uh, the, what, the version that you saw or the little film clip you just saw was from the 1941 movie classic of Sergeant York. Yeah, I think I recognized that. had Gary Cooper and Walter Brennan starring in that. Um, very great scene of a of someone surrendering their life to to Jesus and changing their life because of that, uh, very much. And a very great song, the old time religion. I think all of us know that pretty much. Yeah, you know, pretty much. We as Christians are often tempted to uh, long for uh, what we call old time religion, which is probably means for most of us, you know, a simple understanding of Christianity, sort of uh, presented to us initially by you know, the songs and the lessons of our youth. And um, sometimes during these complex times, you know, we kind of long for old time religion. But you know, this is um, in our blogs, we've been uh, uh, going through the uh, season of Pentecost, which we're just about, in fact, this will probably be our last vlog of Pentecost as we um, get through that and move on to Advent. But in Pentecost, we've been um, uh, s focusing on uh, some of the stories of the uh, book of Acts and the beginning of the early church. And what was really the old time religion, because this was the beginning of the church, is about as old as you can get as the study of Christianity and the start of Christianity uh, as described in the book of Acts. So we all know the Acts and some of the lessons that we've had from that, you know, starting out the story of the Holy Spirit coming down the day of Pentecost to the disciples in Jerusalem. Um, next, Peter's sermon in the temple that converted so many people. We have the creation of the first communities of Christianity, the followers of Jesus, as they were called then. Stephen's faith and martyrdom we talked about in one of the vlogs. Uh, Philip's conversion of the Ethiopian, who was uh, not only a different race and nationality, but also uh, a member of a, a sexual minority. But he was one of the first Christian converts. We've talked about Paul's conversion on his way to Damascus and, and Peter's vision when he was instructed by God to spread the gospel to non-Jewish people who were who um, described as unclean to begin with, but also Paul's journeys and spreading the gospel. So Acts is about the beginning of the church, but um, also we need to remember that Jesus did not come to start a church. Jesus did not come to start an institution. As our presiding Bishop Michael Curry tells us all the time or teaches us that Jesus came to start a movement, a movement of people changed by Jesus' teachings and, and enabled by the Holy Spirit um, you know, to, to change the world you know, through, uh, by getting all of us to live God's kingdom in this world. So old-time religion is not just a familiar songs or non-challenging sermons of our, our youth. Um, the old-time religion is about the, the uh, story of Christianity. The power of Christianity is the same today as it was in the first century when Acts was, you know, about what Acts was written. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago in Sunday school, we talked about a lesson from um, a writer named uh, Christopher Aaron who wrote regarding uh, Christianity. He says, Christianity is people whose lives have been changed by Jesus and the Holy Spirit, sharing their stories with others by, the, um, and by words and actions so that others can see the God-inspired changing in their lives. It's a pretty powerful statement. So um, this is what really is old-time religion. This is what old-time religion really is. It's basically people seeing Christianity's act and, you know, the way that Jesus teaches us to act. It's the way old-time religion was. It's way old, this has never changed. And this is new today as it was in the first century. And for this, we can say, thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.